Who are these people collabing with this guy? That's what I don't understand. Bro, what the hell, man? I seriously do not understand the point of this. This makes me kind of frustrated, bro. You know? Because I know this guy is not who I think he is. Okay? I, I'm, I'm talking about like when I... When I first met this guy. All because of ZPG. Bro, ZPG was the reason why I even met this guy in the first place. And if it wasn't for ZPG, I probably would have never had to deal with this guy being a combination of both a hypocrite and a narcissist. Like, like so many things can go wrong at once, bro. So many things can just go wrong at once whenever you meet someone who you think is innocent, but in reality, they're actually just not that type of person, you know? Bro, what is this clickbait, bro? This is seriously clickbait, man. Now, I'm disliking this because this is clickbait, bro. This is literally clickbait. That person does not have 10 billion subs. That is literally clickbait. They used inspect element, obviously. There's no way, bro. Obviously, I'm the most clickbait. You see, their real sub count is 505,000. So, this person, that proves this person has clickbaited, you know? Just by going in death. I'll just check out the real sub count because I was kind of curious. I was kind of curious what, what the person's real sub count was, that, that channel. But, this video is seriously clickbait, bro. This video is an LNOS. They seriously clickbaited. Obviously, it's so obvious. I'm not even stupid. If I was, if I was still a a young kid, then I would fall for it. But no, I didn't even fall for it. I knew this was clickbait. I knew it. That is seriously clickbait. I remember, I remember clickbaiting when I was like, when I was a kid. Back in like 2018 to 2019, I would clickbait because I was a kid. All right, that's probably why. Because I was young, I, I didn't even, like, know how to take YouTube seriously back then. But anyways. Bro. Seeing them play slap balls is kind of, like, uh, it's kind of irritating. Because I, I hate the fact that it's so easy to get banned from slap balls, but those people in slap balls are so toxic, so I, I don't even trust slap balls anymore. I don't. Bro, their most popular video, seriously, their most popular video is just, nah, man, nah. Anyways, I don't understand why these people trust this guy, bro. These people... Literally, just, I don't know how they, they managed to trust this guy. Like, at first, you think this guy is really an innocent kid. Because, well, technically he's a kid. But a teen, actually. You know? Obviously, this guy's just a teen. He's, he's a late teen, not an early teen, obviously. Because 16 means a late teen, right? It means you're a late teen, you're close to adulthood. But anyways, other than that... Sorry about that, but on that, um, he just, bro, his content style, 
I remember you told me you did voice acting. No wonder what or or whatever. And no wonder why he was he was like bro his act on zombie stream was so convincing I thought it was real. But then but then but then he he eventually um admitted that he was acting it out. And and I got kinda I, I got kind of frustrated, but I tried to go along with it. But somehow, I was surprised that... I don't know how I was surprised that he he managed to pull off a successful act on Zombie Stream. Maybe I'm just a global... Maybe I'm just global. I'm just, I'm just a global person. I, I, I seriously, like... Man... I'm trying to think, bro. Bro, I seriously thought this guy was actually just going to get me arrested. But I think he just I think this guy was the one to kind of make matters worse since Zombie was already um what was the word? Um kind of encouraging this guy. But, um, yeah, I think Zombie is kind of encouraging it. I think, I feel like Zombie was the one to encourage Drift Guy to get him to just, um, to just file some report to, um, the courthouse or something. Like, what? Are you serious? It's almost like a class action lawsuit or something. But I, but the problem was that I didn't even have any lawyers, so that was the problem. Man, I wish there was insurance for like getting a lawyer. I wish they had like insurance or something for getting a lawyer. I wish they had that. I'm not sure they have that. I, I have no idea to be honest. And yeah. It's both W and L acting for for this guy. It's like L Nas, bro. The ops, you know, you know, the ops are just, bro. The ops, man. I hate the ops. <sighs> well, I was planning on making a video yapping about this guy and all that, but I was worried that it might blow up. But at the same time, I was also worried that Drift Guy might see it at some point. Because of the keyword Drift Guy on YouTube. That word isn't often used on YouTube, so it's going to be easy for him to probably find the video. Bro, what? This is so stupid, man. What? Hello. How's it going? Imagine, bro, this person's using a voice changer just like I did, bro. Imagine if I managed to... Actually, this guy is, is good at, like... It's probably gonna be good at telling whether or not if I'm capping, so... um, It's gonna be hard to pull it off, you know? It's gonna be really hard. If I was really a genius, I would know how to pull it off. But at the same time, it's going to be hard, you know, it's going to be tough. Because I remember I was actually kind of confused when, when, while well, Jusco was in the call ZPG. So when I was acting all confused, because technically I was confused, but then this guy got slightly skeptical of me so then he just started interrogating me so then he just turned the entire call into interrogation so yeah this guy was kind of the one who kind of ruined it for me he kind of he kind of made it worse for me when i wasn't even trying to i wasn't even trying to um to turn it into an interrogation he just unintentionally turned it Turned the entire call into an interrogation. Like, bro. That is such an L nose. I mean, maybe if ZPG wasn't such a snitch, then maybe this guy wouldn't have gone so skeptical about 
the way I was acting inside of that Discord comment. Okay, so, yeah. I learned from my mistakes of being in a Call of Duty guy. Never meet the ops. Or, or the people who is our, or, I mean, or the people that are about to become ops, you know? The people who come, like, I mean, who will become ops. Sorry, my speech is completely, like, messed up right now. Mainly because I haven't even fixed my sleep schedule yet. I barely even fixed my sleep schedule. My sleep schedule is just random, bro. But anyways. You'll never know if if the people you meet will become ops. It's just... It's just that... Guys, here's a life advice. Just keep in mind that if you meet someone who you think is innocent, there's a good chance they might become an op at some point. There's a good chance they might turn you down, right? There's a chance they might do you dirty and just kind of um, flip the switch or something and, and just... And just turn it to the opposite direction of what you're expecting it to be. Just like what happened when I was in a call or a VC of just guy. Like, bro, that was the worst experience I've ever had. So from my life experience, experiences, I learned that there's people who, who you meet that will eventually become ops at some point. That's what I learned from my life experiences in the past. Being in Discord calls... Multiple betrayals. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I wasn't supposed to be yapping so loudly. I didn't mean. I didn't. I didn't mean to yap very loudly. My bad. Because my brother just like he's just, he's the cheat. My brother's uh. My brother has a test right now, so I forgot that I shouldn't be yapping loudly. But guys, like the ops will just come after you when, and you'll never know. And the worst part is, you'll never know what will happen if the ops turn down on you or or come after you. That's why you always gotta make sure. And that's why you gotta be aware of your actions and what you do. Ờ hôm đâu ăn bây giờ con ở đâu có đói đâu. Nên lại đây bấm giùm mắm đi coi. Sao bấm vậy? Đâu biết xài đồ nướng hả? Bấm gà. Mà đâu biết xài đồ nướng hả? just wild. My mom doesn't even know how to use it. My mom does not even know how to use an air fryer because she, she just, she's not really familiar with tech, bro. That's just wild. Dang. God dang, I was literally really interrupted by my mom. God dang, man. 
I can't believe I was literally really interrupted by my mom, bro. She did my, she did me dirty by walking in on me and then just, and then just telling me to help her with, with trying to like air fry the food. Like what, bro? Are you serious right now? God dang, bro. Anyways, bro. Yeah, so you guys are hearing me yap. I don't remember what I'm gonna yap about. What else I'm gonna yap about? Cause my mom just interrupted me, made me forget. God dang it, El Mom, bro. El, El Nas. She just had to interrupt me, bro. Seriously. Bro, my mom kind of ruined the vibe. She kind of ruined the vibe, but anyways. Um, let me try to remember what I should be up about. Yeah, guys, so just remember your actions may, may make the ops come after you. Just like what happened when I was in a, a Discord call with Zombie and Drift Guy a few months back. I don't know how, but it's been three months already. Since the interrogation happened, I still rem I somehow remember the day the interrogation happened. It happened the day before Fourth of July. For the action, it happened on Fourth of July Eve. I don't know how, but it's just man. This. This is so annoying, bro. Anyways, I mean, there's a reason why I'm dropping out college algebra for like a semester, for only one semester. I might come back next semester, but I'm not sure. We'll see what happens by then, because I am. Uh, Yeah, so, other than that, um, let's just, um, let's hope things turn out for the better, because when you guys meet those people who you think are innocent, they will just, you never know if they will just do you dirty, you know? You never know if they just betray you. Like, bro, that's just basics of um I don't know that's just I guess that's just how reality works or something that's just probably how um okay anyways hold on bro El Mouse Wheel oh my god this mouse wheel is so annoying bro Anyways, so yeah, life le life lesson learned from what happened on July Eve, I mean Ju on 4th of July Eve with the attention. Just keep in mind, just don't, just don't always trust the people who you think are going to turn out to be great people, bro. Just don't. Cause that's what happened when I got on a Discord call with this guy in CPG. Just don't trust the people who you think, who you think, are innocent. Don't trust 
It's just, don't trust anyone, trust no one. Except your family members or relatives, okay guys? Only trust your family members or your relatives. If not, then I don't know, okay? Just, then you can just figure out something for yourself. But that's my life advice, guys. If just guy only if only just guy understood my POV then he would understand that being friends with someone for with someone who you hate for the past five years is just an uncomfortable thing, you know? Like bro, if just guy only understood what it was like to be friends with someone for five years just ruining your life for the past five years if only you understand what it was like to be friends with someone who would ruin your life for, f for the past um, for the past five years if only you understood that if only you understood my prof if if only he properly interpreted my um, or if only understood my, my POV or my pain, then he would have known, but he didn't. He completely misinterpreted me and thought that I, that I, that I just did CPG dirty for no reason. That's not what it was. This guy com had completely misinterpreted me and just thought I was a bad person. All because this guy had completely misinterpreted me. All because of one big misunderstanding, bro. One big misunderstanding led him to, um, uh, to just, to just see me as a bad person. Like, what? I'm not even a bad person. I know that in college, I never did anything horrible to make people hate me. So why should this guy be that way, right? I mean, I understand that whatever happened to uh, to Zombie's YouTube channel was uh, was kind of well deserved. But at the same time, this guy just didn't even take the time to understand. What I was going through. He didn't understand me well enough. He didn't. He didn't understand me well enough. To. To see me as a. As a good person. He didn't know I was trying to. Be a good person. He. Because he failed. To understand. That. Uh, bro did the UI interface change again? Am I tripping? Is this a new UI interface? I mean, new user interface? Is this a new UI or something? What? Oh yeah, anyways, um... Most people that you have exploited their levels. Sorry, it's just so hard to not play Roblox, right? It's so hard to not play Roblox. Uh... Like, bro, it's just so annoying because that she this guy, that she had to be the one to just ruin it for me, you know? He had to be the one to just piss me off, bro. Ruin my life, ruin my day. It's just so stupid. It's so ridiculous. It is. If Driscoll wasn't a, a combination of both a, a hypocrite and a narcissist, then he would have probably understand that I had to, to just, um, I, I had to make Mazars delete 
Zombies channel because that was technically the right thing to do. Technically, you know, it was technically the right thing to do. But then instead, this guy decided to completely misinterpret me and then instead see me or think of me as a horrible person. Like, that's not how you interpret things. That's not how you do it, Drew Sky. God damn dumbass. See, this is the problem, man. If Drew Sky actually, you know, if Drew Sky had actually just taken the time to to listen to me for once, then maybe he would have actually seen me in a um in a more different way like in a better way or something but instead he didn't do it he didn't take the chances instead he decided to get skeptical of me and then completely misinterpret almost everything that i admitted in the discord vc or call or whatever it was he was the one who completely who had completely misinterpreted me. I did he has great um, observation skills and all that or intrapersonal skills or interpersonal skills. But seriously, he really just didn't like he really thought he took it for granted. No. He was technically in the wrong because he he was the one who had completely misinterpreted me. He completely misinterpreted me and he literally and he literally didn't even understand anything horrible about ZPG. He just acted like he just acted like a total a total moron not understanding like not understanding just I don't even know how to say it. Like, not understanding the importance of just, you know, the importance of just trying to understand someone, someone's pain for once. Like, he didn't take the time to do that. Instead, he decided to just assume that I did it in a horrible way. It's not that I did it it in a horrible way to get rid of Zombie's channel. Like, he completely took it the wrong way, bro. And that wraps up for today's yapping session. I'm done with this. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of those people, those hypocrites or narcissists just misinterpreting me or ops misinterpreting me in the worst way possible, bro. It's just so stupid. It could have been... Or maybe it was a dumb act that this guy pulled off. Maybe it was a convincing act. Maybe it was... Maybe this guy did prank me. Maybe he did prank me. About, like, the whole situation. The whole interpret... In, uh, I mean, interrogation situation thing. But I'm not sure about that. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe he was acting. But at the same time, I remember how serious he was. I'm not even sure anymore. I don't know. Cause, because I know I have moved on a while ago. But sometimes I feel like I feel like I just want to yap about it just to get it out of my head, you know. Alright. Anyways. Uh, yeah, see.